We're going to open Primo RAM disk. And we're going to create a RAM disk. We're going to make it a direct I.O. disk. And we're going to make it um, going to make it two gigs. And we're going to uh, label it as drive letter Z. Format it in MTFS. We're going to check to create a temp folder automatically. We're going to set permissions. Everyone has full control. All right. I open. Here we've got a RAM disk with uh, a temp folder in it. It's a 2 gig disk. I'm going to open up our system, our edit our system variables. And we're going to change from C to Z. So we're going to edit. Change the two down here. Now I'm going to reboot. All right. Now that we've uh, done that, we've got a drive Z here. It's actually in it's in memory, it's RAM cache. And Windows temp files are stored there now. So that'll be much faster access than a drive. We're going to open Primo Cache again. We're going to create a new dit RAM disk. This time it's going to be a SCSI so that it looks like a normal drive. We're going to give it drive letter Y. The first one we created was a direct I.O. disk, which is much faster. But we're going to make this a SCSI drive. And we're going to make it uh, so we're going to make it uh, two gigs as well. You know what? Let's make it four gigs. No, that's too much. It's just going to be a cache. So we'll make it two gigs, like I was going to to begin with. Make it NTFS. We don't want a temp folder in this one. I'm going to give everyone full control and finish. Now we've got a drive letter Y. Shows up here as an empty drive. I'm going to open Primo Cache. I'm going to create a new disk for my Windows 7 volume that's cached. And we're going to use drive letter Y um, for the uh, for the level two cache. You can tell it to use max size. So it's going to use the entire two gigs. So now we have my drive accelerated with a read write access and also a, le a level 2 cache with deferred write. So it's actually 8K. I think we want 4K. Change that to 4K. So there we have that. Okay, now it's 4K. It'll be faster access. <clears throat> so now theoretically that that uh, drive drive letter Y is gone, 
we have our Windows temp folders that are on. In the, uh, we have our Volume C accelerated um, with level one, level two, and we also have Windows putting all of the temp files on a virtual drive. That's actually a RAM drive, so that'll be a lot faster. And I think that'll do it.